Thank you very much for, for being here. Uh, my name is Azul, and I'll show you how to use TimeGPT. Uh, basically, I will code this live with you, and I will use BIM, but of course, if you want, you can use JupyterLab or Visual Studio Code or any other editor. A little bit of my background. As I mentioned, and, and, and Rob uh, mentioned, I'm CTO and co-founder of, of Nixla. I'm a Mexican trans woman, and I'm uh, really proud of that. My pronouns are, of course, she, her. And I was born in Salamanca, Mexico. Um, Salamanca has only 200,000 uh, 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 population. And don't worry if the name Salamanca is new, in, is new for you. Uh, no problem at all. And of course, this is my first public talk in English uh, by myself. Thank you. And I think this is really important, specifically in our field, because at Nixla, we are really advocating for diversity. We really believe that this is a driving force uh, in any application that, that we, are, we are doing. So we are really excited about TimeGPT, and we are really excited because we launched our beta a couple of days ago, and the results are being simply amazing. We have received uh, more than 200,000 requests in our API, almost the Salamanca population. <laughs> And the requests come from more than 10, the, than 10 countries. And it's incredible to see how people are really interested. Uh, people from finance, healthcare, retail, commerce, logistics, IoT, manufacturing, and of course, artificial intelligence. This is simply amazing. And of course, it looks good to me. And so let's get started with the fun part. Let's, let's write some, some code. And uh, you can use TimeGPT through any language, programming language you want. For example, if you want to use JavaScript or you want to use Go, you can simply uh, make a call to our API. But we also develop a Python SDK to make uh, things simpler. So basically, you need to install our library, Nix.ts using pip install uh, nixla.ts, and you will be ready to use TimeGPT. At the end of the talk, and the public, the code I'll be writing here will be available at that URL. So let me open a new window to start uh, coding. To make uh, things more interesting, imagine that you um, sell electricity, and you want to know um, how, how much electricity will be demanded in the next, I don't know, maybe 40, uh, 24 hours, the next, the next day. And you want to know this because you want to optimize uh, the, the process behind the electricity, the electricity generation. So uh, the first thing I will do is just import the necessary libraries and plot our historical data of demand forecasting. <laughs> yes, of course, why not? So what I'm doing here is basically import some libraries to plot uh, the data set and also authenticate to our TimeGPT uh, endpoint. Uh, so basically, I exported before uh, the talk the TimeGPT token environment variable, and later I will uh, let you know how can you get yours. So right now, I will be loading the historical data, and I will be plotting uh, the time series. Thank you. 
Let's see if this works. So basically, we have these uh, four, um, four markets, which basically allows us to know what uh, have been the historical um, behavior of the electricity demand. As you can see, uh, there is a strong seasonality, and this is expected because we can expect that the demand increases, I don't know, maybe in the, during the day, but in the night, uh, the demand will be, will be, will be lower. So uh, we want to create forecast for this for this uh, electricity demand uh, data set. How can we do that in the old way? So in order for us to to, to calculate the forecast, we need, uh, for example, to import the data set. We need to clean the data set. We need to perform hyperparameter optimization. Uh, uh, hyperparameter optimization. We need to do cross validation and. Uh, all of those steps takes a long, a, a lot of time, and you need to have a, a full team of machine learning engineers to maintain that pipeline. Let me show you how that um, could be in the old way. So you need to 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 have 100 and more than lines of code, but let's forget that. That's that's not that's not what we want to do. So let's make uh, things simpler. Just call time GPT. Basically, what we did is just call the forecast method or uh, of our main class. I, I pass the, the data frame of our data set, and I put the horizon I want to, to predict, and finally I want to visualize the time series. Let's see if this works. Here, um, our SDK is calling our forecast endpoint, and we have the forecast. The, the line that is not blue, uh, are the are the forecasts generated by by time gpt and as you can see time gpt uh, produces a really well behaved uh, forecast for example it uh, respects the the seasonality even the trend and i think the the, the forecast uh, looks amazing um, <laughs> But what about uncertainty estimation? We don't just want to know uh, one, one single future, but we want to know multiple futures. Uh, fortunately, we can do that with TimeGPT. We just need to add one uh, single argument. Let me do that. And this is really interesting uh, because our model is being making inference in a GPU in real, in real time. And uh, just like that, we have uh, prediction intervals for our forecast. And one interesting thing, thing about our deployment is that it's horizontally scalable in the sense that you can uh, uh, call the API multiple times and you will get results as fast as, as, as possible. Um, one of the most, most important things about uh, time series, one important application, is uh, anomaly detection. We want to detect uh, the days that, for example, uh, does not behave like the, like, like the previous ones. And, of course, uh, with TimeGPT, you can do that, adding, again, just one line of code. Let me do that. Um, 
Another interesting thing about TimeGPT is that this is zero-shot learning. We are not training uh, the model in, in the data set. We are just making inference in a GPU. And just like that, you can visualize the, the, the anomalies detected by, by TimeGPT, just adding uh, another line, line of code. So what we did, we create a full uh, production uh, environment to forecast electricity demand across multiple markets in less than five minutes. And we did it with TimeGPT, and you can see that it is really easy, easy to use. We are really proud of what we, we are doing, and I think this, this is really, really, really amazing. Let's get back to the slides. What is our call to action? So basically go to nixla.io and sign up uh, in the submit interest form and we will give you access, a token, to, to, for you to play around with, with TimeGPT. And I think we are ready to officially launch TimeGPT beta and for that we did a, 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 a counter <laughs> with Python again. So let's, let's, let's count together, why not? We are counting from nine to zero because Python, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one, zero. Thank you very much.